Hours before the cryptocurrency exchange declared bankruptcy, venture capitalist Kevin O'Leary tried to save FTX, but was stopped by remarks made by Gary Ginsler, chairman of the US SEC. Ginsler stated that the exchange was significantly non-compliant. Sam Bankman fried had told O'Leary in a conversation days before the company filed for bankruptcy that $8 billion would be required to save it. O'Leary, who has strong connections to wealthy people, investment firms and heads of state, recognised an opportunity to attract additional investors. He said, that's the kind of money that an institution or a sovereign wealth fund can put to work if they thought there was an interesting opportunity. In financial services, liquidity events like this can be interesting investment opportunities if you think it's a legitimate investment and it's not an issue with a regulator. Of course, they were only interested because they thought FTX was a respectable company. Seems unlikely anyone would touch a Ponzi scheme now.